Dear students, this lecture will guide us about the difference between equations and identities and their possible examples will also be discussed. If we talk about equations, these are mathematical expressions with equality. So what we can expect to see in equation is this sign, which is very famous. We have been um, using this sign uh, since we have started to study mathematics. So this is not a new thing for us. We know that the equations can have uh, various levels of degrees. That is, there can be linear equation, there can be quadratic equation, and there can be cubic equations. There are many possibilities. But the point to note in this uh, discussion is that an equation does not have the ability to satisfy all the values that, they, that are input in it. For example, if I put the value of x in an equation without just thinking, it might satisfy it or it might not satisfy it because there are only selected values that can satisfy an equation. We should see this example. This example states this um, equation, which is 2x plus 4 is equal to x plus 2. If I put minus 2 in it, the answer will be satisfied on both sides. That is, 0 will be equal to 0. Now, this is uh, the case where the equation is established, satisfied. But what if I put 1 in it in place of x? If I put 1 here, it will become 2 plus 4 and 1 plus 3. So they will not be equal. The equality shall not be achieved. There will be an inequality. So this is the salient feature of an equation that we are trying to understand here. That it can be satisfied using a selected set of value or values, depending upon the degree. Uh, this was, however, a linear function. Uh, what are those other values? We have experimented, we have tried to put one in it, we can try all other values, but definitely there will be a certain set of values that will actually satisfy this equality. Now, there are many examples in economics of equations. We have been studying them. For example, demand function, we can see an equality and very well-known famous function d is equal to alpha minus beta p and production function is yet another famous example that we do in production analysis and then cost function is also there another equation and optimization condition that is mc is equal to mr is another example of an equation in economics and the market equilibrium condition is one of the most famous examples of a conditional equation now, we can see that economics uses a lot of equations. So, it is an applied thing. However, we need to create a difference between equations and identities. Now, we are talking about identities. Um, etymology of this word guides us that the Latin origin ex actually explains it. And that uh, word from uh, Latin is idem. And that means same. It means they are likely to be the same on both sides, on left-hand side and right-hand side, no matter what happens. When I say no matter what happens, it means we, no matter which value of x we put in them, they will be satisfied. Um, mathematical equalities that are true for all values of x so uh, this is a more compact form of the definition of it that will satisfy that will be satisfied these equations that we actually call identities these are a kind of equations that are established in case of all values of x now we're taking this example which is taken uh, from the trigonometry this uh, uh, trigonometric identity actually uh, allows us to uh, empirically test it for example if i put uh, the value of the angle that is theta uh, 30 or if I try 60 or if I try 90 or if I try any other angle the sum of the squares of these trigonometric ratios will always sum up to 1. This is the trigonometric identity that is a very famous example. Now we can come to economic example of identity. 
a very famous example is of uh, equation of the profit which is profit is equal to revenue minus cost and once we put the values of the symbols that is uh, the notations r and c and pi we get this identity but till now we have not mentioned it as an identity because identity uses this uh, sort of equality where three horizontal lines are drawn now this is how an identity looks like and if you put any value in this formula the answer will be satisfied that is the left hand side will always be equal to right hand side uh, this is how we can understand uh, the concept of equation in comparison with the concept of identity thank you